Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how we can fix, well, faces in Midjourney. Now, if you play a lot with uh, creating portrait images or images of, uh, you know, faces, especially human faces, uh, you probably find out that some of the results can be underwhelming. So, Midjourney is working to improve it, but right now, as of the time making this video, you can really get some pretty uh, annoying results. Sometimes it's actually fit, but sometimes you just want well, the face to appear regular. I mean, sometimes you have so much noise in the image and one eye can appear so much larger than the other or you just completely distorted. It's not that the eye, it can be other areas in the face as well. So I'm gonna show you in this video how you can fix it easily with an external tool. All right, first of all, let's take a look at the example. So you can see here, this is a large, all right? So look at the eye area. You can see the nose area and the mouth. All right, in the eyebrows as well. Here is another example. And the thing is that uh, before that, I actually fin uh, fixed it in Photoshop, but it takes a long time to fix it in Photoshop, a long time. And uh, if you want to fix it in, well, in a few seconds, I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Now, if you go to this website, you can find a tool that allows you to do some face restoration. And it's incredible. You can also do some masking. I'll show you this in a moment, but let's take a closer look. You can see it does an incredible job restoring, again, all the face area issues. And the cool thing, it doesn't ruin other things. I mean, it can, might change a bit some of the information there, as you can see. Uh, but overall, it mostly touches the face area. So you can see, you just magically solve the issue uh, that I had with this particular image. Both with the lips, as you can see, knows everything. It also keeps the right tone with the shadows beneath the eyes. Also look at the eyebrows area. Now, if you want to do it and if it actually affects something around it, you can just bring it to Photoshop and just, uh, you know, make another layer and uh, just copy uh, the part of the face and put it over the, the previous one. But as you can see, this is another image. You can see that in this case, the eye was so big, it's actually kept it like that. But again, if you really want this particular image to be, uh, have a symmetrical face, you can just go in Photoshop and just copy this area with the feathering of the selection and just move it to the right. But this definitely will solve many of the issues that you have. All right, another thing is masking. If you want to mask, you want to replace the background, this is another tool called Human Mating. At the same page, you can actually use to mate and you look at the air, how accurate it actually does it. So even in complex area, it just works. Look at that. So again, if you're using Midjourney, you want to fix faces, problem with faces, symmetrical, no, uh, faces not being symmetrical, and other things, kind of an artifacts and noise, you can actually use this one uh, with ease. In a few seconds, your image will be fixed. I hope you find this one useful. Consider leaving a like and maybe subscribe. More important tips are coming. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.